used to be being loud, hanging out, making moves all over town, trying to be cautious, showcasing my style. Everybody wanna know what's going down. That's not how I'm living now. Hey, my beauties, it is CC of Frugal Goddess. I am coming to you today with a two product reviews. Both of them are around on the same level. The first product we're going to review is Cleave Hair Straightener. It is a hair straightening brush. As you can see, I have not even opened it. This was sent to me to review from Amazon.com. I will include the um, store name and the price right here. So we are going to open this. And we're going to see what's what here. Y'all, of course, I can't get it open. Hold on one moment. Okay. So I just popped the tape. Oh, I done broke my nail, y'all. Look at that. Must be time to do them over. So, ouch. Y'all, this is, you ain't got, to, oh, dang, I done broke all my nails trying to get in this thing, y'all. There we go. Looks like it's time for a fresh set. Anywho. So. Here we go. So, oh wow. I love the way it is wrapped. It is. It comes very, very secure. And I love this. Of course, I love the color. And it comes with the um, instructions. And it's very well padded. So I will definitely keep this box for storage purposes. And actually, I am not going to um, uh, use this on my natural hair. I, we are going to straighten this wig. This wig is Nellie from the Free Trust Equal Collection. And we are going to straighten her out and do a little restyling on her. So right now, I'm going to plug the brush up. Just took the plastic off of it. It has... Um, this is the off and on buttons and the up and down the up and down buttons. And this uh, particular straightening brush actually has a lock setting on it because um, I don't know if I actually reviewed one on my channel or if I just did the Amazon review, but I did review one that I am left-handed and but it really doesn't matter when you get to Going on this side with the straightening wands, your hand will hit the buttons and it will raise the temperature, which is a definite no-no when you're working with a synthetic wig or even your natural hair because you don't want to burn it. So the lock feature is a definite plus on this brush. So I'm going to plug it in and we are going to straighten this unit out and do a little styling to her. Okay, and it comes on. It is in Celsius, so it says 180 Celsius. It's heating up. Okay, I'm going the wrong way. So I'm just going to put it on 80 Celsius because, again, this is a synthetic wig, and I don't want to burn it or mess it up, even though it is curly iron safe. And I will also... Um, Nanotate in Fahrenheit, what the levels are right here, because on, on the um, box and on here, it states the temperatures in Celsius. And, you know, we use Fahrenheit here, so, oh my goodness, y'all, I cannot read this. Let me go get me some reading glasses, y'all, because this writing right here, mm -mm. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I couldn't even find no reading glasses. So, any pertinent information will be down in the description box down below. Um, on here, it says rated power is 75 watts. Control temperature is 80 to 230 degrees Celsius. Again, I will nanotate here what that is in Fahrenheit. Um, excuse me. Um... It says frequency, product frequency 50 to 60 HZs. I'm not sure what that means. But anyway, let's get going. 
So the bang part of this unit is in pretty good condition. So I'm going to take that. And these clamps were also sent to me for review purposes. And I don't remember exactly how many clamps you get, but I will nanotape the number of clamps you get and the, um, the price right here. But these clamps are, if you do hair or do anything with hair, wigs, weaves, anything, you need these. And these were like so reasonably priced and they are absolutely gorgeous and they are a good size. And they are plastic and metal. So with the te gripper teeth on the inside... And so, that was my phone ringing, y'all. So, again, I'm going to separate some of this. And I'm going to clamp this back here. Now, I did work on straightening part of this. Okay? So, this wig is in pretty bad shape. I really did not wear, have not worn it that much. Because even though I love the cut and the style of the wig, this wig tangles horribly for me and I really think the reason it tangles as bad as it does is because of the 613 and the 27 in it so again our brush is on 80 and so we're just going to take it and run it through here we might have to turn it up a little bit I'm not sure but it seems to be doing the trick without too much change in the texture of the hair. Because I'm not trying to get the hair bone straight or anything like that. I just want to calm it down. And as you can see, the ends look 100% better. Sorry, y'all. The ends look 100% better. What I am going to do is I am going to continue to run this brush throughout the whole wig. Then I'm going to come back and we're actually going to cut and style this. We're going to trim. We're not going to cut. We're going to trim and style the wig. Um, I don't want to hold you guys hostage because we are already at seven minutes. So I'm just going to come back and I am going to... Uh, finish straightening the wig and then we're going to clip the ends and style the wig it's going to remain in very similar style but just with the ends trimmed and the unit looking a hundred percent better so i will be back in a few minutes with the finished straightened look and then we'll style her okay y'all i am back and the next product that we will be reviewing is the Kilo Lean Pro. I think I have pulled this out on here before. But this is a flat iron, a curling wand. Uh, it's a two in one. And I absolutely love, 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 love this product. So I'm going to plug this in and let it heat up. Oh, shoot. Well, we are doing our clipping and trimming. Again, this uh, can be purchased off Amazon. I will include the price right here. This is a awesome, awesome flat iron curling wand, whatever. Uh, let's put this. Oh. oh. I have to look to see. I, I just saw it goes up to at least 450 degrees. Uh, I just took it down to 250 and it is heating up now. I did wind up uh, turning the straightening brush up to 95. And so I brushed out the whole wig with it. And so now my next step is I'm just going to trim some of the wispy edges. And for that, we will be using my Equinox 
um, cutting shears. And I have various ones of these that have also been sent to me to review from Amazon. I will include all the links to everything I've used in the description bar down below. Um, I think one of these, I think I messed up and it's not this one. So these are the ones I will be using and I am just going to come this way. And I'm just going to easily, I'm going to cut that right there. And pretty much I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Is I'm just going to cut these wispy ends right here. And I'm going to cut it going in an angle. Because that is the way the hair is cut naturally. And I think I'm actually going to cut... A little more off of this side because I want it going uh, a little asymmetrical uh oh I got a hair in my eye so yeah that's what I have done all together this is what I've cut off and now we're going to add we're going to take um, the bang I'm going to take this down and I'm going to actually flip this up with the flat iron okay that didn't turn out too well So now, what we're going to do, because it's not trying to curl that good, while the hair is still hot, we're going to add this flexi rod to it. And that is just to redirect the hair. I will be right back. I'm going to get a couple more flexi rods. Well, I think that did it. So, right now... I'm going to do a couple of more things and I'll be right back because I'm not going to keep you guys, uh, no, 20 minutes. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So I am back. This is my end result. What I did was I added the flexi rod right there and I just wanted to bend the hair so it would go more in the direction I wanted it to go. You guys know I don't like a lot of hair over my face and eyes. I already can't see. And I kind of bent the ends of the wig a little bit down here. I will tell you that I believe the reason this wig, this particular one, uh, tangles and acts the way it does is because of the 613. When you have that 613, it is a different texture here and it does something to the wigs. But again, this is the end result. I did cut a little bit more off this side because I kind of wanted the asymmetrical bob look because Nelly is a bob wig. As you can see, she is shorter here and longer toward the front. She is a bob wig. And somewhere along the line, I'm pretty sure I'm going to cut this part right here so it's more even with the uh, this 1B or 30, whatever color it is. Because I don't know why this part just seems off. Um, maybe it's because of the way I combed it or whatever, but it seems as if this should be just as long as this. I don't know. But anyway, um, I am very pleased with the result of my cleave straightening brush. It made my straightening time of the unit a hundred percent quicker. The unit is not tangling as it was, and it also did not take away from the natural texture of the wig, you can still see some texture in there. It's not bone straight. So all of those things are positive. Again, I will include all the links down below. Thank you guys for watching. I love you. I want you to remember, have a beautiful, best day.
Tell somebody you love them. You never know when it's too late. And remember to be your own kind of beautiful. Later.